broken teeth. I spit them out cause I can't swallow anything. Mouthwash is pumping through. Well, it's Mike Brown here on a talking about the tech tips for a water crossing. On a water crossing, it could be, uh, you know, three foot deep or three inches deep. So that's the main thing you gotta look for. You know, you wanna, first time through it, always being cautious of uh, checking how deep it is and make sure there's no logs, rocks, and stuff in the bottom, especially if it's dirty water or clear water, you can kind of see, but uh, yeah, it's just, when you get into it, you know, you kind of let the bike kind of go where it wants. If there's a lot of rocks, you know, it's, you don't want to fight the bike in the water or let's, you end up in it, so it's, uh, just being cautious the first time through it, you know, if it's clear, the next time you, if you're hitting it again is, uh, you know, you can get a little faster, but the main thing is, is being cautious the first time through it and make sure and you've got the right line in there. Again, back to the throttle control and the clutch, you know, that's the only way you can get traction is less throttle and more clutch and just let the bike creep through there, you know, the first time you get a handful of throttle, it's, it's you're not going anywhere, but probably down in the water, so it's uh, best that you just make traction, you know, put your weight back on the bike a little bit if you're needing traction, so it's all of getting on the back wheel instead of, you know, in the middle of the bike. It's the same thing out of your mouth, a little floor ride. Right. It's the same thing out of your mouth, a little floor